Hello everyone and welcome to a speed build with me Velvet B and today we are building this little cutie here. So it is going to be placed in uh, Copperdale, that's the name of the place, on the Little Falls Nook lot. So I think off the top of my head this is a 30 by 30 lot So it's because it looks wider than a 30 by 20 so pretty sure it's a 30 by 30 lot. So it's you know it's a decent sized lot, but you know, you're not going to fit anything huge on there. So once again, I am winging it as far as <laughs> the design of the build, uh, as is my way from now, uh, from time to time. It's been a little bit more than usual lately, but that's okay. Um, I will get back to inspirational builds at some point, <laughs> but I do have fun with making up my own thing as well. It does add a, a little bit of an extra challenge in that I have to uh, work out things like the roof, which I'm about to get in to now. Now don't forget to, to subscribe if you haven't already to the channel so I can remind you to come on back when I have got a new build or a new uh, video out on the channel. So this build will be a two bedroom and I want to say one bathroom. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm trying to remember. Definitely two bedroom. And it has a more contemporary style. It's not super modern, um, but it's it's definitely not a traditional build at all. So I think, yeah, I, would, I feel like this is going to be a contemporary build for this one. And as you may have seen on the thumbnail, this is for my save file series. So the story behind this particular build is it's for a, a young man who is leaving home it is not a starter home by the way it's not on not on a starter budget at all um, but it is a young man who is leaving home and he is bringing his survey with him now the survey obviously doesn't need a bedroom of their own maybe they do want to have the space to themselves or maybe it's a spare bedroom but it is a two bedroom so and it's, i think it's a reasonably roomy two bedroom as well i didn't squander on the space <laughs> um and yeah i'm just kind of working through colors at this point on the exterior of the build i got through the roof and finally worked out what i was going to do there but then i was like mm, what am i going to do with the colors because this is a limited pack build so i kept this to discover university eco lifestyle and seasons i think that's it i I was going to say, maybe I asked, I might have added Dream Home Decorator to it, but I don't think I did. I think it's the Eco Lifestyle blue things that I have in the interior later. You'll see what I mean later. Anyway, so we're getting the colours to come together. So I ended up going with a grey and a light brown. Um, we've got the grey, I think that's the Eco Lifestyle roof. Pretty sure that is, it looks like it. And then just using the uh, light brown trim on the exterior as well. So this is me thinking about whether or not I like that gray <laughs> um, or whether or not I go with a different texture because I did want to just, you know, have quite a different texture, but I just think that's too container homey for the look that I was going for. So I do end up changing it and just going with, um, what did I end up going with? That one. The Eco Lifestyle one. There we go. So that's what I end up going with. With the, um, it's like, what is it? Like a wood planky type sort of style, I guess. So then I was just working on what I wanted to do with colours on the tiling. So I just went in with the, went with the base game style. And I think I'm using Season Steps. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm definitely using the Discover University uh, fencing there. So there's not a lot of space uh, because it is a reasonably large size house for the lot. Um, so there's not a lot of space for yard, but I did squeeze like, you know, a good decent amount of stuff in there. So let's um, see what I do there. So I'm just fiddling around with the colours and just seeing whether or not I uh, want to change a few things. Oh, I've got like little gardens around the front as well. So yeah, so I'm going to have those little front gardens there and I just was extending out the porch overhang kind of area and I had to flick through um, a few options. <laughs> I wasn't wholly 
happy with my options <laughs> for the columns, but ended up just going with the base game uh, mega, basic mega column. <laughs> uh, yeah. But um, I did have the uh, eco lifestyle doors, which worked perfectly colour wise with the rest of the house. So that was an absolute bonus. So then I was thinking about what to do um, as far as windows go and ended up going with the eco lifestyle ones for the front because it is uh, more as I said it's going to be a contemporary home so the wider pane the wider pane windows make sense for that uh, getting in a lot of light in the house so it is light and bright and airy oh and uh, so that corner of the house I have planned as the kitchen so this is why I'm putting the smaller windows in there and they're, they're from the eco lifestyle um, pack as well so those are designed to be uh, for the kitchen as far as that goes so I will come back to that later when we go inside I guess so I was just thinking about doing something a little different so I'm just using because I have the eco lifestyle pack there oh and I'm just lifting the walls up too <laughs> decided to do a medium wall just for something different because I do a lot of short walls and what short wall builds so I've been on a bit of a kick to uh, do some medium sized builds at the moment so I'm just doing uh, the little bit of the wall wood decoration panel thing um, from eco lifestyle it was quite it just adds like a little touch of something different on the outside and uh, yeah I quite like it just use the contrast color in the gray rather than using the matching color so just uh, working on what I wanted to do in the barbecue area. I was just having a flick through to see if I had any options in the way of things that might want to hang above there. But I didn't really have much in the way of options. So I was like, oh, well, that's fine. We don't need lots of doodads around there. Would have been nice to have the cool kitchen kit uh, or something like that. Because then you've got, you know, some of those nice hanging knives and kitchen utensils and stuff. But oh, well. So just building like a little garden around the side just to make it... Um, you know you can make a, make a bit of money from it and then I was like mm, a lap pool can I get that down there it's just like a little thin one but you can swim in there up and down up and down so it's like nice for a little bit of exercise so I just made like a little pool nook and I'm just gonna put like a little um, seat there so you can sit there in the sun maybe uh, have a look at the plants once they're growing <laughs> and enjoy a bit of sunshine by the pool so uh, just getting in the seating for the barbecue so you know you have a couple of friends around you can sit out there and enjoy a lovely evening out by the out on the deck and enjoy the view because it's a gorgeous view from this house so you know another thing for having uh, the big wide windows is you want to enjoy the view because in this area is absolutely gorgeous so why wouldn't you and there's a lovely stream going on past and I think there's some falls around here somewhere <laughs> <laughs> and some water and a lot of greenery so yeah it kind of made sense to have a nice uh, nice open windows and enjoy the view so coming around uh, the front I'm just working on some landscaping I decided just to do like a little fountain I had a little bit of space but not really anything that I could do a whole heap with so I thought well let's just do a cute little garden area it would be super nice just to sit out there on a lovely day and enjoy once again the beautiful view so why not so I'm gonna do like a little fountain and uh, pop some flowers and stuff around there the some that is going in there does enjoy gardening as a bonus so they uh, spend time with their servo and they do like to get out in the garden so I gave them a little bit of a garden so I'm just mixing blue and pink and a little bit of the yellow with the lovely base game plants that we get base game is essential isn't it for some of the plant stuff because I mean you get pretty limited amount of plants in a lot of the packs unfortunately so you do need to use a lot of the base game stuff and that's fine because a lot of the base game stuff is really solid as far as landscaping goes it's just a case of you always want different options right <laughs> which is why uh, I guess debug is so popular because you get so many more different um, so many more options for landscaping than what you do in the game although that's kind of odd it's like you know it's there anyway why don't you just put it in base game why not just put it in there 
it would make everyone so happy and give us so much more and it's not anything that they need to do anything extra to except just reclassify it so yeah don't hide stuff and debug give it to us give it to us we can handle it so just doing the last touches on the outside <laughs> And uh, I think we're just about ready to head inside. I was just looking at what to do with the large triangle space above the, well, the, uh, under the roof, not above the roof, under the roof, because I didn't have any triangle options. So it just ended up going with the triple paned um, base game window. And now I think we are about ready to head inside. I've basically got the layout. Oh, it is two bathroom. Okay. Yeah, that's right it is so it's two bathroom two bedroom so we've got a larger bathroom and then a smaller guest bathroom um i yeah when i when i uh, actually drew the shape of the house oh yeah i forgot about the windows the, my little window gardens just sometimes it's hard to find the right bush that will fit in the space and i was like oh i'm just gonna do these they're cute and they work so i'm doing those little uh the long bushes i'm just shape um resizing them down so that they fit nicely but i think they look good there uh anyway yeah so i built uh so i was I actually shaped the rooms when i was building the shape of the house i actually wasn't just doing random shapes <laughs> i was actually shaping i was actually building it room by room um so you've got two bedrooms and a bathroom on one side and then you've got the kitchen and dining um on the other side guest bathroom around the back and then you just got the living um living space in the middle as you come through the entrance i was going to make this um with an open door going through to the dining and kitchen but i really thought that i i decided to use because we had the eco lifestyle doors why not take advantage of that and i mean i had a big space there so why not use one of the big doors i hardly ever use those so it's actually quite nice to be able to use those for once i do love um, building with the eco lifestyle stuff it's probably one of my favorite build by packs i think part of that is because it's quite cheap <laughs> which is a bonus if you want to build a cheaper house um but yeah, I quite like uh, wood style as well, so I think that helps. I love I love nice uh, wood in a build, and yeah, it's just got some really nice things. So yeah, I do like that pack. Um, I love a lot of the the kits um, as far as the build the build by kits as well. They have some really fabulous stuff in there, but I really I do understand that it's not the the kits are less accessible for everyone. And I mean, you know, a lot of people just can't simply afford or don't want to have absolutely everything that The Sims has to offer. So sometimes I do like to do these limited pack builds and with some of the, you know, more popular packs. Um, I don't know if Discover University is a more popular pack, but I think I feel like Eco Lifestyle and Seasons are definitely popular packs and um, that this would be accessible for people so you can see the kitchen is starting to take shape so i'm just getting some aprons in there and some little bits of pieces of clutter i decided to go with a dark brown in the kitchen it's not a color that i use a lot in the kitchens that i can think of i like will quite often go with gray rather than brown but um yeah i decided to bring browns through to the interior of this build um it is going for a more masculine vibe than a feminine vibe in this because we have got a young man living in here so if he's decorating then he's gonna do it in his style isn't he probably maybe his mum might have a little bit of an influence he is a family man um and yeah <laughs> so i'm just working through uh what to do as far as the uh, dining table goes because i wasn't loving that and ended up going i think those are the hey harry chairs from base game and just using the simple base game blue a rug in the circle and then i was just fiddling around because it's quite like an empty space there because it's like glass on basically three sides of that um, dining area so yeah it, it kind of feels a little empty because of all the glass on either side but you can't really put stuff there because you don't want to block the view and that's what that room is about it's about sitting there having a nice meal and enjoying the view it's a big part of this whole placement of this lot really isn't it so just doing the hall area now so you can see we've got the um little closety type thing the hall 
hanging thing the umbrellas and the uh, little coach hat hanger then uh, just getting in a hall table with the season's mirror and just a few little bits and pieces around underneath I just put I snuck some presents in under there I was like eh maybe it's the gift giving season and they've got to mail off their gifts and they haven't remembered to do it and it's just sitting under the hall table and uh, yeah <laughs> could be you don't know so then we are moving into a building the entertainment area of the room so you walk into the house and you go through the hall area and into the living room so I'm using touches of blue throughout the house I'm trying to use a more muted blues rather than uh, going too bright um, just one, yeah once again I'm going for more masculine than I am feminine of this build so I'm just getting a little bit of piece of clutter around on the shelving because I've sort of built like a little kind of shelving I guess unit around the TV just to give it that entertainment unit kind of feel then I sort of went through a bit of a phase trying to work out the coffee tables and ended up going with the Discover University coffee table which I don't know that I've really used a lot so um yeah that was actually this is really it's, i quite like it uh, for a coffee table it's probably one that i'm going to use more now <laughs> because i like used it and i was like actually i quite like it i like how it's got the rounded edges on it and like a little bit of trim it would have to be in a certain type of house i think and this worked because i had um the matching bookcases and then um yeah the brown working through the house so yeah i was quite happy with how that how that fit in with the lounge and I do like it and I want to use it more so just getting a chess table in here just because it was quite a wide empty space I still needed to have the door accessible for the sims to get in there but I needed something else in that space and I thought well you know a chess table would make sense okay so I think we are now into the last part of the living area so I'm just doing another hall table down the back. It's quite a narrow space. It wasn't too much I could fit there. Maybe a thin bookshelf, but that would be pushing it a little bit. It had to be a thin one. And doing some more presents under there. There's going to be presents all over this house. I must have been thinking about Christmas when I built this. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the guest bathroom. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. I think I'm using the Seasons stuff um because i don't think there is any uh there's not a lot of options as far as um bathroom stuff goes with these three packs that we're using just mainly season stuff so seasons and base game and a little bit of eco lifestyle for the shelving and i'm um, sticking with the uh light brown color in the bathroom so just using a light brown tile and a light on the floor and on the wall although it's a slightly darker brown on the wall so yeah um hopefully it doesn't blend too much and i'm using like a blue rug on the floor just to add in that little touch of blue that you'll see here and there throughout the house so then moving on to the second bathroom so just getting some blinds in there because we have a couple of windows and you just want to make sure that the sims if they would want privacy in theory um then they could put a blind down not that they can actually do that in the game but this theory is there that they could. <laughs> so I was just playing around with doing um, some different things with the bath. I, I just, you know, I wanted to make it look like a little, a little different. That base game bath is absolutely perfect for sitting in those uh, spaces. And I did play test this. So as you can see there, he fits in it just fine. <laughs> I was just like, I thought it'd be funny just to build around the rest of the bathroom with him in the bath. So, these are the things that I do to amuse myself. Um, so just putting the base game towel rack um, on that space. So you've got the towels by the bath and some little bits and pieces around the bath as well. Little bits of platter there. There wasn't too much else I could fit around the front, but um, I do put the sink in beside there. So the ain't so slate sink we'll go in the side there so just getting little bits and pieces there sorted and which mirror is that i think that's the discover university mirror i think uh so the bathroom i'm oh, sorry bathroom toilet going in there and this will also um have some little bits of shelving in that corner as well and i can fit a little something else there so uh i was looking at different plant options and went with that one 
ta-da! coming together very nicely. So um, I'm using the towel rack just for a little bit of clutter on there because I felt like it probably needed a bit more things in there. I mean bathrooms tend to get quite cluttered with stuff that you use. I know that mine does anyway because you know by the time you have two kids and a husband and me uh, all using different things. I mean kids never put things back where they should and honestly husband doesn't either so <laughs> by the uh, by the end of the day you know the old bathroom gets a little bit of clutter around it and stuff in the cupboards and stuff underneath so then moving on to the first bedroom I'm using the which bed is that that must be eco lifestyle is it or does come university I didn't actually see which bed that was but I really like it. Um, there is a few things that I end up having to move from this bedroom and the next bedroom because of space reasons. Because they're not the largest bedrooms. And then um, the easel, when I play tested it, the sim couldn't get past the easel. So I moved that outside. Um, and then in the next bedroom, I had to move. I think I switched like the mirror and the wardrobe around because they couldn't get past that to use the other side of the bed. But, you know, these are the things that you discover in playtesting and the reason you do a little playtest to just to make sure that, you know, space will work the way you think it works. Like, you think, you know, they've got half a, half a grid space, they should be able to get past it. Okay, so at the moment I am just flicking through trying to find things that I like for the wall. Um, limited choices. <laughs> but, I, I think I got there okay in the end. We got there. And um, yeah, as I said, there's not a lot of room in the in the room to add a lot of stuff, so I didn't. I contained myself. I was just trying to catch which um, pack that bed was from. I just still didn't catch it again. <laughs> I think it might be Discover University. It doesn't look like an eco lifestyle bed, and it's kind of got that younger feel to it. Um, anyway that design I really like I love that um, I love that it would you would it be a bedspread or a duvet sorry I got stuck thinking about that I was like is it a duvet is it a bedspread is it a bed cover I mean when you talk about the swatch on the bed is it yeah what what do you guys think of it as like a duvet uh, like a blanket um, bed cover bedspread I, it could be any of those things I mean I don't know could must just be a sheet <laughs> I think it's probably not a, just a sheet but I don't know um, yeah so I think I end up switching around this wardrobe and the mirror which I put in here as well because it just wasn't quite enough space for the sim to slip past and so yeah check it all around a little bit but yeah got there in the end that's fine I just will do it off camera I think so I'm using the Eco Lifestyle curtains because I love them and they are super cheap. And I think <laughs> one of these single windows I just got stuck and I was like, I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> because that's my solution. I'm just like, nah, you know what, I don't actually need that window there. I'm just going to delete it. <laughs> yeah, solves the problem. And I love those little egg chairs. I think they're gorgeous. They're my, one of my favourite little chairs. And uh, just getting some artwork on the wall. And I did use a contrast wall on the outside in the back of that um, bedroom as well. So we are off to take a tour. So as you can see, we've got the fountain working there. It is spitting away. And I think it looks really pretty. It's a nice, like, abundant garden that I think really suits the area and the place of the build. Because it is kind of quite green and abundant around this lot. So I really... I think that blends in quite nicely. You see our little garden around the back there with our little lap pool and our little backyard area. Well, backyard. <laughs> it's not really much of a backyard, but the back porch area with the barbecue and the seating there for a little bit of socialization. Some lights on the wall so that you can see where you're going and what you're doing. And uh, just like a little seat uh, nook around the back by the rubbish bin. 
<laughs> so moving back around the front you can see the uh, gardens there I've got a little seating uh, around the front and little nooks as well just for a nice evening out on the front porch so moving inside we are into the living room where you can see the touches of blue amongst the uh, browns of the wood so I use different shades of wood um, with the different furniture so I went with a, a darker wood for a lot of the furniture because it's quite a light wood um, throughout the house and I think that contrasted nicely with the lighter wood and you've got obviously mixed colors in the in the wallpaper as well but I was really happy with how that came out because it's kind of like a gray blue so that worked really nicely with the other features around the the house with like the doors and stuff so I think that was cool so we're going to flick into the first bathroom which is the guest bathroom so pretty simple but I think it's nice and has its little touch of blue there on the floor then moving through to the second bathroom which I really like and we've got our little bits and pieces of clutter on the shelving and we have our shelving unit there we've got our our um, little bath which is tucked away behind a wall and is still very usable and little touches of blue throughout the room as well so then we are going to go through to the first of the bedrooms so this is um, in blue with the bed and then just sort of mixing up the other colors uh, a little bit of white just to bring that out a little bit um, with a gray feature wall and then into the second bedroom i think of this as more the guest best the, the guest bedroom uh, with the browns and a little bit of black pulling that through and the dark chocolate brown as well on the rug on the floor then we go through to the kitchen i actually really like that rug i haven't don't think I've used that swatch any time lately and it actually works really nicely with the dark chocolate I think um, in the kitchen counter so I was actually really I just bring a, like a different kind of vibe to the room as soon as I put that rug in there so I was like oh this actually brings a little bit of life in here and I think it worked nicely so I was really happy with that and then going through to our really nice light and bright dining area which would be absolutely lovely to sit in on a on a nice warm evening uh, and just you know look at the peaceful view so I just want to thank you all for joining me for this build I really appreciate it don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you come back to watch another one thanks for watching bye bye